area are speaking to WTOC after the first day of this year's legislative session. WTOC's Flynn Snyder joins us live to break down the reaction to see uh, several key issues that are expected to be voted on in the coming weeks. Yeah, Mike Don, among the many topics lawmakers are set to take up on this legislative session, some could impact many right here in our area, including a controversial school voucher bill, increasing affordable housing in the area, and the ongoing debate over the state's tax surplus. What should Georgia lawmakers do with the state's nearly $11 billion surplus? It's a question that could dominate the 2024 legislative session. It's got to be a big issue. Democrats like Senator Derek Mallow of Chatham County are pushing for more spending on employee wages at state agencies to reduce staffing shortages. Clearly, we, we need to look at what we're doing and how we're spending our money and actually pay the people in the state of Georgia what they're worth um, because you cannot expect uh, champagne with Kool-Aid money. After the film industry went on strike last year, some Republicans are urging caution when spending surplus money to help make up for any lost investment in the state. That is a $4.1 billion direct spend from the film industry. That's going to show up in our budget. Well, I would prefer that we're very, very cautious with the surplus that we've got because there's rainy days coming. A controversial school voucher bill that was carried over from last year could also come up again. It would give parents of students in the state's lowest performing districts vouchers for private or homeschooling. Also top of mind for our area's local delegation, increasing affordable and workforce housing ahead of expected growth from large industrial developments. And we do have differences between Democrats and Republicans in how we want to see this addressed. We all agree that we need affordable housing in Georgia. It's just going to be a matter of uh, how do we get there and what's the solution. The city of Savannah is urging state lawmakers to allow municipalities to waive impact fees for the construction of workforce and affordable housing to keep development costs low. You know, I think that's a very creative way of looking at it and, and something that could be a good fit for our local community. Now, the session gaveled in at 10 this morning. Of course, we'll keep you, up, we'll keep you updated rather on what happens throughout the session.